When you're traveling around in the tropics, most people have this conception that it's very dangerous to be hiking around in tropical forests because of all the things that are out to get you. Uh, for me, the thing that I think about the most are probably the poisonous snakes. But I've gotten over that because there's no point in worrying about them. They are generally so well camouflaged that if there was one right here on the floor, you wouldn't be able to see it. So you just can't worry. <laughs> uh, what you can worry about, what I worry about, are the hymenopterans, the ants, the bees, the wasps. They love me. But it's not mutual. Uh, this is an example of uh, something that's called the bullet ant. And these ants are over an inch long. They're called bullet ants because if one stings you, it feels like you've been shot. And that pain will be at an excruciating level for at least a day and will continue for a week or two. It is the most painful sting that you can possibly receive. <laughs> But most things are much more benign, <laughs> so don't worry about that. This is a three-toed sloth uh, from Panama. It's got nice green fur. That's from algae. Helps to camouflage them from their predators. Uh, lots of beetles you'll encounter in tropical forests. Not dangerous unless you actually stick your finger in their mandibles. Uh, beautiful grasshoppers. Praying mantis, these guys are pretty common. Uh, the biggest millipede I've ever seen, this was in China. Well, there's my Swiss Army knife. That was probably nine inches long. <laughs> uh, water buffalo are, I thought that they were pretty docile. But I got up to this guy to get a good picture of him and he started getting a little agitated, so I didn't stick around. Uh, poison arrow frogs are potentially dangerous if you try to eat one. Uh, they secrete toxins on their skin. Uh, butterflies, of course, are not really dangerous animals, but before they're butterflies, they can be. Uh, if you see caterpillars that are kind of spiny and hairy, it's better not to pick them up, especially this one, unfortunately, I can tell you from experience, is one not to touch. Uh, centipedes, definitely don't pick these up. There's one species in Mexico that's actually deadly. Uh, spiders are generally pretty benign. They're not too interested in people. Uh, but it seems to me that they only put their webs at face level over trails. <laughs> Uh, but then there's ones like this. This is the largest spider in the world. I found this in French Guiana. The body of this is actually bigger than my fist, and the leg span is about the size of a dinner plate. This is, if you've ever heard of the bird-eating tarantula, that's it. But they actually, it's kind of a misnomer. They don't really eat birds. They could if one flew into it, but mostly they just eat other things that are walking around on the ground. Uh, now, back to the hymenopterans. The reason that I've had a lot of experience with these is because I'm off and off bushwhacking off trails, and there are a lot of species of wasps and hornets and bees that make their nests, their hives, on the undersides of leaves. And so if you're off trail and you run into one of these, you have a swarm of angry insects all over you. So usually you get stung five or 10 or 15 times all at once. So don't be like me. Uh, so I was happy when I was in China to find this at a restaurant. Turns out you can eat these. So I finally had my revenge. Oh. <laughs>